Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. General James B. McPherson died July 22, 1864. At the time of his death, McPherson was the second highest ranking Union officer killed during the Civil War. McPherson graduated first in his class from West Point in a class that included John Bell Hood, who would later oppose him in the Western Theater. After graduation, McPherson was appointed to the Corps of Engineers and directed a number of projects, including improving the defenses of New York Harbor and the construction of Fort Delaware and the defenses of Alcatraz Island in San Francisco. McPherson rose quickly through the ranks of the Union Army, serving as Lieutenant Colonel and the Chief Engineer in Grant's Army. He served with Grant during the Siege of Vicksburg and directed the construction of the federal defenses of that city as well as Natchez. Indeed, the federal fortification construction in Natchez would be named for him. On March 12, 1864, McPherson was given command of the Army of the Tennessee, which became the right wing of Sherman's army during the Atlanta campaign. On July 22, John Bell Hood ordered an attack against McPherson's left flank, and Confederate General Hardy moved four divisions against Grenville Dodge's 16th Army Corps. As he rode to meet his troops, McPherson encountered a line of Confederate skirmishers who ordered the general to halt. As he wheeled his horse, attempting to escape, Confederates opened fire, mortally wounding the Union general. Of his former classmate, John Bell Hood wrote, The attachment formed at early youth was strengthened by my admiration and gratitude for his conduct toward our people in the vicinity of Vicksburg. His considerate and kind treatment of them stood in bright contrast to the course pursued by many federal officers. I am Bo Biglane. My father, Derek Biglane, grew up in Natchez, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.